What is a robot? Robots are often pictured as human-like machines with arms, legs, and heads that are built to interact and inhabit the same world as humans. In popular culture, they are often portrayed as humanoids, and popular technology news often features humanoid robots accomplishing impressive feats. However, the field of robotics extends far beyond humanoids, with a wide variety of applications and appearances. In the manufacturing industry, large robotic arms perform various tasks from moving car bodies to painting and welding. In homes, robots that complete household chores and act as companions are becoming more and more common. Additionally, robots are often featured in competitions, whether for entertainment or advancing research in particular engineering fields. These competitions often feature teams from around the world. One of these robotics competitions is the International Robotics Sailing Competition. In 2017, a team from Worcester Polytechnic Institute, also known as WPI, won the competition. Professor Ken Stafford has been passionately leading this sailbot project for several years. Two years ago, I heard about this and got a few students excited about doing it and bought a little boat, a little one meter boat, and we thought that with WPI being robotics and me being a sailor, that this would be a good bit. It is an international competition to develop uh, wind-powered model boats that will uh, accomplish all sorts of interesting tasks. Sailbot is primarily an undergraduate research project started by Jordan Berklin, Hans Johnson, and James Guzmal. Hans, James, and I started the project uh, sophomore year. The first year we definitely learned how to waterproof everything and how to make sure that all of our electronics were connected securely and everything. It was a full learning experience. <laughs> uh, last year the competition went surprisingly well for us, um, despite struggling with water intrusion issues, um, which meant we our runtime. Uh, the boat worked well the whole time. We were on the water every day of the competition. Um, did really well in a few of the challenges. We were in pretty good competition with um, two of the top teams that were there, um, and uh, we did we did pretty good on most of the events. So this year's challenge is being met by a couple of ways. Um, uh, first off, a brand new hull, which represents our sense of what modern hulls should look like. It also has um, a, a, a rather interesting and a new way of controlling the the heel, the way that the boat um, uh, bends away from the wind. The movable valve system um, on our boat allows us to change where the center of mass of the boat is by swinging a weight side to side. We have it mounted at an angle so that instead of just swinging side to side, it also swings like up and down. Um, so as the boat heels over more and it swings to the other side rather than swinging up, basically it swings out to the side and helps us um, add another writing moment to the rest of the boat so that we can keep the boat more straight up um, when there's heavier winds and then we can get more surface area and faster or more lift. What Jordan is referring to is the heel of a boat or how much it leans to one side. Modern sailboats are propelled forward by the sail above the water and another device below the water called a keel. However, the forces that move the boat forward also cause the boat to lean to one side. In a standard sailboat, the crew will change positions in the boat using their weight to counteract these forces. With Sailbot, the team has designed a system to move a large weight from side to side, emulating the actions of the crew. This device helps the boat maintain effective heel angle and maintain higher speeds. So the movable ballast arm is a lead weight at the end of a carbon fiber arm uh, at the joint, which is angled. We have a, a stainless steel welded coupler. The angle between the two parts is 25 degrees, which is our optimal heel angle, so that the arm sticks more or less parallel to the water when the boat is sailing heel. The movable ballast arm is actuated by a two-stage spur gear reduction. The arm is mounted on an angled surface which allows the arm to be more or less horizontal when the boat is not heeled. 
With these designs ready, the team got to work manufacturing the robot. So we ran into an issue with the movable ballast. When we originally designed it, we had two pieces of carbon fiber tubing attached in the middle with stainless steel. However, when we put this on the boat, there was so much room in this joint that it actually collided with these corners. That means we can't use this design. We'll have to redesign something a little stronger and a little stiffer. The new design replaces the carbon fiber and coupler with a machined aluminum arm attached to one of the gears of the gearbox. It has a roller bearing to help transfer some of the load into the deck of the boat. Additionally, the new design has an aluminum truss that makes the arm more rigid. This attaches to a sleeve around the carbon fiber and securely holds it to the arm. This new design provides much more stiffness and strength. With the success of the movable ballast, Sailbot is ready for the open water and the potential applications of the future. There are some interesting applications starting to arise from things which are very closely related to the capabilities of these boats. Um, there are at least three startup companies now that are building ocean drones, sail-powered ocean drones. And the scale, the size is almost identical to the scale of our two-meter hull here. Um, they're designed for uh, environmental, reasons for ocean temperatures, um, ocean winds, ocean conditions, um, even the, the, the quality of the ocean water, uh, but certainly other applications could be a, a silent unmanned monitor of, of other ocean vessels both under the water or on top of the water. The team has a long way to go before the competition, but is excited for the challenge. We have a lot of things to finish up still, um, but I think we'll get it done. Based on what I've seen so far, the boat's going to be really nice. <laughs> like any robotics project, it's a, it's a large task to do, and it's, it's been an interesting project. So it's not without its frustrations, but it's always with its triumphs. So. Robotics research like Sailbot is paving the way for technologies that will one day improve the planet.